Hey, welcome to another episode of Mark II Golf Stories. GTI today, we found that water leak, that's all locked off. Um, so now we're going to see if we can turn the engine over via the ignition. Hopefully, you know, all the wiring is on correctly and the engine turns and it tries to start. Once we've done that a couple of times, we've got it all lubed up, we will get the spark plugs in, get the new HT leads on and see if we can start the engine. Fingers crossed, let's go. Okay, so we're going to put some gearbox oil in now. First of all, you need to remove this drain plug from underneath. Uh, so you use this special tool here, put a socket on it, and we're going to fill up the gearbox oil until it starts trickling out of here. And then we're going to put this plug in and then put a little bit more in. So we're going to be filling the gearbox up from the speedo cable, so we'll take that out, and that's just down here. Okay, so we're using this uh, SX75W90 gear oil. Tell me when you're ready, Dad. A bit more? No, that's it. Is that it? Yeah. Lovely. There we go. So we've got to plug our absolutely mental immobiliser in. See if we get any power on the ignition. I'm not trying turning it yet. Let's put the clutch down. Oh, well, the clutch isn't returning. That's not a good sign. Turns over. That's good. One more time. The clutch is down, Dad. I have. It's right down on the floor. Right. Well, it turns over, so. Okay, so the clutch uh, cable is this little white clip here. Clips onto the top of the pedal. Okay. Down. Yes, going up and down, yeah. You got a bit of free play there. That is adjusting then, isn't it? About an inch. Ten mil. Ten mil. Okay. Twelve mil. You just adjust it by turning that thing at the bottom, don't you? Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> there should be a nut above it which you need to put down to it as well. Yeah. Hang on. The are stiff, there we go. There we go. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to swap out our HT leads now. We've got the old ones on, so we're doing one at a time. As you can see, these are all taped up and whatnot. So, start with the longest, which is this one. Put them through this as well. Just 
put these pullers back on as well. Now you've got a couple of them. It's going to make things a bit handier. Also forget to change our king lead as well. Okay, so let's get these spark plugs in. My dad's giving them a good soaking, so they're looking nice and clean. We'll just pop these in and then we'll try and give the engine a start. So what, you don't even adjusted them and sanded them? Just primed it and we've got a lot of fuel coming out of these injectors so I need to tighten these up. Okay that's tightened up. Um, can't see any wetness down here from these. So I guess it's time to see if we can start it. Fingers crossed. Ready? What? Okay. Oh, Idling. No, as it started up, it's idling. Smoking a bit from the exhaust, so I need to tighten that up. But f it, a. game on. Yep, she's still running. No major leaks down here that I can see. Oh, we've got a bit of a water leak, actually. Yeah. So there we go, it's working. Well done, Dad. What do you think? Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Great. You're going to walk in front of the camera now. Off you go. Brilliant. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about him, he's uh, getting old. Um, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget there's 20% off e-manual online. That's all manuals uh, for any car you can find on there. Use the code MK2GS22 at checkout. That's 20% off, like I say, off everything. Um, thanks to e-manual online for, for that. Um, so we've got a little bit of a water leak. But we're going to be replacing these hoses anyway because obviously one of them down there is bent at a complete right angle almost so that needs to come out um we're gonna be putting the bumper on soon not sure if we'll do a video on that because you've all seen that before on one of our other videos which i'll link in here um aside from that we've got a few other issues in this car we need to sort out the fuel pump is still constantly running we've got some missing electrics for the lights probably indicates that things aren't working but 
She runs and she idles. I can't believe she idles. I did not expect that. I thought we'd have a load of trouble with that, but wicked. I think that's down to the relay we put in. Um, yeah, I'll show you which relay that is actually. So this is the relay we put in. This was missing. And this is obviously needed to uh, allow the car to idle properly. So yeah, wicked. Not sure what's going on with the fuel pump. It's probably something to do with this mad immobiliser we got. But yeah, so yeah, uh, there we go. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're as surprised as, as I am, the fact that it idles, um, let me know down below. I can't believe it. Uh, thanks to Ricky for letting us the engine stand. Thanks again to my dad for all his help and to Albie and James for their help early on. Uh, thanks to everybody who's given us any advice on Mark II Golf uh, Facebook pages. You've been a big help. Um, feel free to say cheers. You can buy us a coffee down in the description below or a beer. It's all the same. You can become a channel member, which gives you access to these videos earlier than the general public. Um, all's left to do now is say thanks a lot and bye bye.